it's Jo from Minerva. Today we're going to look at some lace fabrics right through from really budget ones right up to the really expensive ones but I want to try and show you that sewing with lace isn't just for bridal wear. I'm also going to show some Minerva Makers projects um, in between each fabric so that you can see the scale of the designs and what sort of things they've been making. Not necessarily the thing I've chosen but then you can see a sample of the fabric. A few tips if you're sewing with lace, you might need a Microtex needle if you've got a really fine Chantilly lace um, because otherwise it sort of chews down into the foot plate of your machine so you need a really really sharp needle or a Microtex one that's really fine so that it goes through the material and doesn't push the fabric into the foot plate. You could also try French seams if you're making something with a delicate lace or if you're making um, something with a lace and an something underneath, a lining underneath, then you might try overlocking your pattern pieces together and then treating them as one piece of fabric. I'm going to try and start with the easy patterns first so that you can sort of think, oh yeah, I can get into that and then move up to the more complicated ones as we get towards the end of the video. The first fabric is a Chantilly lace. So Chantilly lace is really, really fine. It's often nylon and polyester. This one's got a sort of flower print with plain areas in between. This one's 51 inches wide and 100% nylon. And when it drapes, it adds more of the colour saturation. Not all, but some have a scalloped edge or border. So this one has a large scalloped edge. So you might want to work that into your design um, around a hem. That's why I'm wearing a dark fabric today so I can hold it up for you. You can have it around a hem or you could take it around a sleeve. These fabrics, Chantilly fabrics, are not very stable, so they have an element of stretch, even though they're not a stretch fabric, just because of the amount of weave and open texture that's in the material. And the pattern that I've chosen for making something with Chantilly lace is Simplicity 1108. There's all different lengths of throw on there, and some have got a curved front some have got a straight edge but if you just want to add an accent of lace then making one of these tops is a really great way to sort of throw on at summer another colour on top of what you're wearing especially if you wear white in the summer and it can look a bit stark then a colour picked out in lace looks really good this one comes in 26 different colours Next I've got a couple of patterns for one fabric, so this one's a little bit more dense and it still has that element of stretch in it, not in the length, just in the width and if florals look a bit antique for you then this is geometric design is a little simpler, you can have the scallops going up like this or you can choose to have your scallops draping down but either way if you want to have just a little wonder into the world of lace then Butterick 6173 is a good place to start it makes a sort of overtop in different designs actually one's got set in sleeves and these are so simple absolutely easy peasy they're squares and then you get that drape under your arm the undervest also comes in that pattern here and then these are the ones with the waterfall arm and this is the one with the satin sleeve. It's got a more matte finish and um, it's a bit thicker to actually wear as a top whereas the other lace, the Chantilly lace is really really fine. Another pattern you can try with that fabric is Butterick 6263. This one's got an asymmetrical hem. This is for woven fabrics. So if you make it with a lace, you'll get a little bit of give and a little more ease in your top. But both of these tops would work well with this matte finish. 
Catania lace. It's 53 inches wide. It's really soft. You can wear that against your skin. And it's polyester. My next fabric is a corded lace. So if you see that on our website, it has that cord running through. Now this one's very fine, so it's not very lumpy. It's got a, it's like an outline of the lace is following the flowers with a sort of fine cord. This one's beautiful. It's got a really nice weight to it. It comes in 24 colors. It's 42% nylon and 58% rayon. So the rayon is what's giving that its drape there. And I think when it's draped, it does look really superb. It's got that same element of gears in it. And this one's got a scalloped edge as well. But you, you cut that out yourself. And that selvage is just stopping that scallop running out. And the pattern I've chosen is the Sew Over It Ultimate Shift Dress. It's really plain. It's got um, a few variations on the back, but this version, lined, would be great in this because you'd see all of the lace and you get that whole front panel without any disturbance. So that's the drawing there, look. And you can tie that at the waist or you can wear it just as a shift dress. And I think that would look fab in a fine corded lace. I think my favourite everyday lace pattern is the cashmere at Montrose top. There it is, worn with jeans. Really great way to wear some lace in quite a casual style. And if you want to try sewing some lace but you think, oh, I haven't got an occasion for it, then that top is superb. And again, I've chosen um, some corded laces. So this one isn't so miniature, this is a bit bigger. So there you can see the cord around the shapes. This one is called a Chantilly corded lace so it's got that fine open weave in between. It's 55% nylon and 45% cotton and it comes in 33 different colours. It doesn't feel cotton, it does feel like a lace. You get a bit more bulk on a gather with that one than the previous one because the other one had ray on it. This one's, you can see the folds are a little more bulky. It's 52 inches wide and this one has a scalloped bordered edge. Not all do, so check them out. So that would be fabulous around the bottom here or in the sleeve. A second option for that pattern is another corded lace. This one's called maroon. It's a beautiful colour. Real red wine maroon colour. And that's got the cording around each pattern. But you can see that the weave is a lot more open, like a fishnet sort of weave. That's a corded lace. This one's 100% polyester. And this one comes in 14 colours. It's got a scallop. This one's a bit different. I'm going to let the white show that one. There we go. That one's got a slightly larger scallop. So both of these fabrics would make a Montrose top from Cashmere. My next pairing is a bit of a um, casual and evening match. But this is the Stevie dress, which is really easy to do. It's got a tie fastening at the back or a button fastening at the back. You can also make it with the top. So I'm choosing quite a simple casual pattern and matching it with a beautiful fabric. This is a feather lace. And it's got tiny little sequins on it. It comes in two colours, black or white. It's 100% polyester. 
47 inches wide and it's got a sort of slightly more 3D element to it. Can you see the lace has these sort of feathery bits on it? It looks like little feathers. The feathers look quite real on there. And I like that match and I can't take credit for that match because um, I've seen on Minerva so Mama Bear make a Stevie dress in this and it looks beautiful. It can be used for evening or a daytime dress. So that's feather lace with the Stevie dress. Obviously you're going to need to find a lining to go under there. And I suggest uh, a crepe would be good because you wouldn't um, hinder the drape of the lace. This time I'm really upping the game with the lace. This is stunning. This is a beaded lace called Naomi. So it's really fine. You can see. And there's beaded areas on the um, flowers. So you'd need to be careful how you cut this. It's got a border as well. I'll just move so you can see it against the white. And this would make a great overlay or a top that's an overlay. Sometimes you see people make... Um, a dress and then have a top over the top like a sort of shell top it comes in 10 different colors it's 50% viscose 50% polyamide and 51 inches wide and there's a really nice example of that over top that I'm talking about here And that's what I'm choosing today. I'm choosing the Scout Tee, which is a really easy woven top. And you can make it a little bit more boxy if you want to. But it is a sort of one pattern wonder, but it's one of the most used patterns that I've got. Because you can choose any woven fabric to make it with. Really, it's just your fabric handling skills and techniques that will take you to different places with it. And I think if you made one out of this, you could wear it with black trousers, you could wear it with lime trousers. You could wear it as a going out to a restaurant top without having to have the whole lace dress affair. My next fabric is um, really different actually and until you feel it, it's really spongy and it's very thick. It's an embroidered lace, it's 100% polyester, but it's got this sort of cobweb mesh in the background. You can probably see it off the selvage more against my uh, black top. And then the daisies that are embroidered on it are, feel like they're embroidered on both sides, so you get quite a thick, spongy texture. So this one's a lot heavier. But you can still make everyday blouses with it and you can get that sort of sheer um, shirt where you wear a camisole underneath. But because it's got a lot more stability than the other ones that I've been showing you, I've matched it with Birdie 6527, which is a button down top with collars. And this one's made in embroidered anglais, but there's no reason why you can't just up your fabric choice and have a lace. So this is quite a sort of 1960s vibe lace. Or you could um, make dresses that are lined and then have this as an open sleeve. So you have the main bit lined and then you would see a more sheer look when you wear it against your skin. So that one's got a really different texture. That's um, called Molly. And it's an embroidered lace and it's 100% polyester. This next fabric is a real mix. 
can see it's got a little glitter to it. This is called Glittered Satin Lace. So you've got a glitter background, a corded lace, and then on the reverse, it's a satin finish. So you can really mix that up and use the fabric in different ways. I've made an evening dress with it. So this is um, a wrap dress and then I reversed the fabric to get a satin tie. So my tie is perfect color match, um, but it's a different texture. It's really comfortable to wear because the satin on the inside is the bit that's against your skin. This one is 100% polyester. It's 55 inches wide. It comes in 10 different colours. I must say this one says mauve and it's very dusky pink to me. So just be aware of that. Just check that out. And the everyday pattern that I've chosen to use with this is the Lees & Co pencil skirt. Because you can wear a lace pencil skirt and a plain top. And it doesn't need to be evening wear. But because that fabric's really stable, it would make a really sharp pencil skirt. My next two fabrics are for dresses, so these are a little bit more special. Um, it's for New Look 6447, which is a lined dress. So because this pattern has all the instructions for lining an item, then you're sort of already one step closer to having the right instructions for using lace with a lining. Just what lining you choose is probably pretty key. If I'm sewn with lace, I like to use a crepe lining because it's nice and quiet. If you have an acetate line, it can be a bit noisy and a bit swishy, whereas a crepe lining has a beautiful drape and that will really help your fabrics that are a bit stiffer, some laces are a bit stiffer, it helps it move a little bit more. So I've just put a piece of crepe behind that one. That's a glitter tulle. Let me show it you on its own. So that's got a glitter on one side. And it's quite soft, but I don't know if you'd want to wear it directly against your skin, which is why I'm put, putting it with some lining um, patterns. It does take the colour of the lining down a little bit there. But you can use that to make one of these, either the one with the drape I think would be best. My second uh, fabric choice for that pattern which is 50 inches wide and 100% polyester, but it's got a real cotton feel. It really does feel like Belgian lace. It feels like lace. It looks like lace. It's really thick, but it has a beautiful drape. But of course, when it's draping on its own, you can't see the fabulous pattern, but when you match it with a color behind, then you can see all of the design. This one has a beautiful border something a little bit different there's good colors to put behind lace like this are like an electric blue or um a powerful pink and this is like a sort of aqua green so think about how you could mix your fabrics with lace and this uh, gipur one would work for the shift style and the and the tulle one would work for the one with the uh, floaty skirt I hope today's video has shown you that you can choose lace for some everyday wear and if you really want to try and stretch your sewing skills it's good to try a new fabric composition.